this is the culmination of a shit ton of my work over the past 20 years. Um, and everything from the music that I've been inspired by, the teachers that I've studied with, the musicians that I've sought out, the musicians that I've been inspired by, the musicians that I've played with that I've been inspired by in different types of uh, uh, idioms as well to the, the teaching that I do. I've had to learn how to get really specific and, and very concrete in my language. And I feel like there's a lot of systems in play about polyrhythms and independence, but this sort of requires hyper-specificity and that's kind of a responsibility. So I wanna kind of give that. There are two terms that you have to understand. There's a constant and then there's a variable. A constant is anything that I have, that I'm playing, that I have more than 30% headroom. If I have more than 30% headroom, that means that I can play something over a form and I can track its shape in subdivisions. If I have less than 30%, I call that a variable. And the idea is I can only have one variable in play when I can join different ideas. This is the same, whether it's really insane stuff like this, or you're beginning drum, uh, you're, you're teaching beginning students. You've probably seen a lot of uh, students that, you know, they get frustrated when they can't connect certain things. It's, it's sometimes it's the, the way we perceive information. So our challenge is to expediently find what the locus of, of that challenge is and then target it. So at every avenue, I'm gonna be looking at what are the constants and what are the variables. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna hijack our musical nervous system. So I'm gonna play at a fast rate and then invoke a slower rate, okay? So I'm gonna use dotted eighth notes in my hi-hat that will no then become what's called vector one in normal time. This, this, this will all become vector two in half time, but we need to learn how to get there, okay? Uh, Tigran's music was really influential for this kind of stuff. Um, okay, so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna play dotted eighth notes and I'm really gonna keep track of it's a three bar phrase and it's a subtractive rhythm. One. It's subtractive because it goes down, uh, and E. It moves retrograde as it moves left to right. I'm gonna, so that's my variable. My constant will be, from the quarter note perspective, all three limbs, playing quarter notes. That's my constant. Now I'm going to insert my variable. Now we're going to start to remove items. So now I'm going to have a quarter note remaining on my ride, my bass and snare playing half notes, playing a paradiddal shape. So now it's a four bar measure. So now the constant will be my hi-hat. I'm calling this uh, C prime. It's now a, a merged constant between my hi-hat and my ride. This is the new constant. And the variable, and the notes have to be really, really, really specific. Now I'm going to obfuscate this time by only playing half notes, which sonically produces the effect that this whole situation becomes quarter notes. Three, four. So the reason I use the word insertion is it's really specific. From a half note ride cymbal perspective, the skip beat will be the trip of four. One triplet, two triplet, three triplet, four triplet, one. So I'm going to, once all of this, this is now the new C prime, half notes, paradiddles is half notes, dotted eighth notes, all at the same rate. I'm going to insert the skip beat on the trip of four 
thus giving the indication that this is in halftime. Three, four.